Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Smar19. So in today's video, we are going to do another tutorial. Uh, but if you're a brand new map maker or you're looking to make maps, make sure you check out my previous three tutorials first. So if you jump on my YouTube and go to videos, I got three uh, three tutorials right here that'll help any new map maker get started, get going. Uh, we t we set up the editor, we install the spin mod, and then I go through all the tools of the editor in these two videos to kind of give you guys a little idea of what each thing does but in this video something that was brought to my attention that i forgot to mention in these three videos was how do you upload the map and how do you test the map while you're working on it uh, so that's what we're going to go over right now and we'll also if we have time we'll i'll teach you guys how to name the map correctly uh, so let's jump right into it let's uh not waste time so i'm going to go ahead and open the editor all right so here's our tutorial map i'm going to click this little button double click tutorial and here we are, we're right back on our tutorial map. Uh, so this is what I've been working on in the last three videos. So let's say I'm ready to test this and we wanna see what this looks like. So all we gotta do is I'm gonna go ahead and quickly rebuild and save. Now there's two ways to test this. You can either one, upload it to your workshop or two, you can just launch a game and load it up in the, pre in the proven grounds. So I'll show you the easy way first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and I'm going to launch our game. You'll probably get a black screen for a second. Uh, I'll let it catch up. Okay, so once you're on the game, just go ahead and hit single player, and then you're going to want to click on Proven Ground. Once you're in Proven Ground, just go right here where it says Level. And I have a long list of names here, this because I got a lot of maps that I've been working on. Uh, but we're going to go down and we're going to find Tutorial Map right here. And then I'm just going to hit OK. And here we are. We're right on our tutorial map that we've been working on. So as you see, there's our pawn. Here's our spawn. And everything's right here. So you can actually leave the game open. And you could be working on the map at the same time. And you can test everything right on the fly. So let me show you how to do that. So we're just going to Alt-Tab. And we're going to jump over to our editor. All right, so here we are. So let's say I'm just, I'm just going to add a couple of plants, something easy and quick. Uh, let's go ahead and add this fur. We'll put this right next to the truck so we can see that. Let's put another one over here. We'll go with the spruce. Put that right there. We'll double duplicate this. Put another one right here. We'll just shrink this down a little bit. All right, so there we go. So you can, if you jump over to the game right now, you won't see those three trees unless you rebuild and save. So we'll go ahead and hit save, put this down. We'll jump back onto our game. It'll probably go black on you guys for a second. I'll give it a minute. All right, so right now you don't see the trees. Now, a lot of people think you just hit reload or update. That don't work. I'll show you what it does. If I hit reload, it's just going to do this weird thing. It's going to load all my mods, but none of those trees are here. Update does nothing either. Uh, it's just out of date textures, stuff like that. So what you got to do is you just got to hit level again and then just find your map and hit OK again. And boom, there's the tree we just put down. There's the two trees right over here that we just laid over here. So you can, it's very easy. You can test stuff right on the fly. Uh, you can also do this with custom models. Uh, I, I do this method when I'm building rock trails or crawling areas. But the only thing about that is if you're working with uh, custom rocks, you've got to add the, the custom rock files to your map files before you can even test it. So make sure you keep that in mind. Uh, you probably can test it because it'll already be loaded into your editor, but you still won't be able to upload it to the workshop and and you can, but it won't be playable if you don't add the custom model files to the map files. And we're going to be doing a, a, an advanced custom models tutorial real soon. And I'm going to be teaching you guys all about that. But for now, just stick to the stock stuff. Uh, learn the editor, stuff like that. And uh, we'll be getting to the custom stuff real soon. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this. And I'm going to exit this. I'll let it catch up with you. All right, so now I'm going to show you the other way to do it. So we've already 
I'm going to do it one more time for the hell of it. Right click, save, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to close the editor. Now I'm going to open up my Steam. I'm going to jump in my workshop. And as you can see, this is the map we're working on right now. This is actually the tutorial map. And it has this uh, gray picture that's because we haven't uploaded it yet. Uh, Steam recognizes it, but it doesn't. Re this is the other map I'm working on. I've already uploaded this to the workshop. So as you can see, it has a little picture. So let's get tutorial map right here now. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And in the same step, I'll teach you guys how to properly name your map. So before we can name it, we're going to have to go to the Mud Runner editor again. And all we need right here is we need this code. If you only have one map here, it's going to be super easy for you. But if you have a long list like I do, all these coded numbers right here, it's going to become a pain in the ass to keep track. Uh, all you really need is the last four digits of this code, C777. So that's an easy one. So let's go ahead and close this. Now we want to open up our Mud Runner editor directory. So I'm going to double click that. We're going to go to Media, Mods, and then we're going to find that coded folder. So this is all those maps and mods that I have in my uh, workshop. Um, so C77, 777 is right here. So this is the tutorial map. And to know it is, just click on Levels, and there you go, Tutorial Map. So that's our tutorial. So to name the map properly, I talked about this in one of my other videos that this is what we name the file level underscore tutorial map a lot of people think that's the name of the map it really isn't that's just the name of the files so all you're gonna want to do is up click once and we're gonna open up our strings folder so right click this open with I use notepad plus plus and there we go so currently right now it shows ID and then it just says file of the truck or add-on and then value, this is where you name your map right here properly. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to come back over here and we're going to click into our levels folder. And you're just going to click once and then click again with your left clicker. And it's going to highlight it. Just right click, copy. And then over in the strings file, you're going to want to take, I just hold my mouse, my left clicker, and I drag this whole thing and then right click, paste. So there we go, there's the ID of the map, that's the file name. Now over here, you can name this whatever you want, and that'll be the proper name of your map. So I'm going to name it the same as I name all my maps, S19 space tutorial map. And there you go. And now I'm going to take my clicker and I'm going to copy what I just named it. Right click, copy. And then you're going to want to make sure you hit the save button right here, or it won't or, or it won't save and it won't work. So go ahead and hit save. Then you can close both of these down. Now you're going to reopen your editor. And now we're ready to publish this map to our workshop. So just highlight it and right click and then come down to where it says publish mod. Once you do this, the first thing you want to do is hit auto generate. That's going to give us a preview pic of our, of our map we're working on. Then just left click anywhere and then right click paste and there's the name of our map if the map is not finished and you don't want it to be public just leave this alone leave it on private and then just go ahead and hit publish and now it's going to upload for the first time and it usually doesn't take long when it's in this stage of the of the build and there we go it's all uploaded so we're going to close that and we're going to jump back into steam i'm going to back out of here and go back into my workshop and there we go, there's our tutorial map. So now you can just click on it. And you're gonna have this up here, it's a weight and analysis, blah, blah, it's just telling you that it's not public. When If the map is finished and you're ready to go public, you can always change it right here with visibility, unlisted, hidden, friends, public. Uh, you can add a description, uh, what you want the map people to know about the map. You can add images right here, uh, contributors. If, if you add a contributor, just pick somebody on your friends list and that person can instantly play the map in any stage that it's built. So anyway, here we go. We'll go hit subscribe. It's going to download right here. All done. So now we'll jump into the game. And here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the map. 
there we, whoops, there we go, tutorial map. Pick my mods, or I can just stay with the custom trucks, but we'll, we'll select my mods. I gotta get the, I gotta get my ride here. There we go. And start. And there we go, guys. We're right back into the game where we left off. So, I do both methods of testing the map. Uh, you can kind of get an idea that, but it's super easy. Um, uh, when I'm building a rock section or something, I use the other method. When I'm ready to really test the map and take it for a spin, I do this method. I bring it all, but you got to put it into your workshop anyway. And before you release a map, I don't recommend uploading it to the workshop until it's ready to be released. Use the first method. Only because if, uh, we'll talk about that in another video. It's about getting your, your map or your release map at the front of the line when it comes to the public Steam Workshop. I'll explain that in another video and I'll go into more detail about when you're re ready to release the map. So we'll do a tutorial on that in the future as well. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope it helped. Uh, if it did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys again real soon. They say that I've lost it, but talk me down, and I swear it's gonna cost you. Now I'm back, the boss of you more.